Well, right now, we reflect on the 9-11 terror attacks. Today marks 23 years since thousands of people lost their lives in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, the Pentagon, and the World Trade Center in Manhattan, New York. Our nation was forever changed. Darrell Anderson has a connection to the World Trade Center attack. His brother Donald worked for the New York Department of Transportation and ultimately was assigned to work at Ground Zero during the cleanup. Uh, Darrell, I just want to ask you, after talking to you on the phone the last couple of weeks, uh, how are you feeling today? We're holding up, family is holding up. You know, this is a rough time for the family during this month. Um, not only did he pass on the 21st, 22nd, but his, we celebrated his birthday yesterday. So um, family went out and did a balloon release for him. So, And I see you wearing a T-shirt in honor of your brother. What was Donald's primary job at Ground Zero? Well, he worked for Department of Transportation as a inspector. And during that time, um, his job wanted him to go down there to just help out um, with the first responders. And for some reason, he took his camera with him <laughs> and went down there and took several pictures, maybe up to 200 pictures. Mm -hmm. And those pictures were later um, given to the museum. And so they displayed them at the museum. So. Um, but that's how he ended up there. Mm -hmm. yeah. What will be the lasting impact uh, at the World Trade Center for you and your family? Well, the lasting impact for us is just trying to remember and keep his legacy alive, right? Um, his son um, lost his mother also to cancer. So now it's the, the family's responsibility to help, you know, guide him in the direction and just keep his, his father's legacy alive. So it's been a year yes. since your brother passed yes. away and you mentioned cancer. He actually asked you before he passed away to write a song for him, correct? Yes. Yes, uh, share what that meant to you and how special that song is. Well, my brother actually was an avid jazz listener and because of him, um, he sort of introduced me to the jazz scene and music. And so I never forget, we were driving, we were coming from somewhere, and he gave me a call. I know you're, you're touched, you're having a moment yes. right now, so this is what we'll do. We'll give you a moment to just gather your thoughts, and we'd like to share with you the portion of the song that Adaro wrote for his brother Donald and some of the pictures that Donald took at Ground Zero. Beautiful tribute uh, to your brother and that balloon release uh, just uh, this week, uh, yes. your mom, your sister, and another relative there. What do you want people to know? Your brother's photos are in the museum in Manhattan. Would you like for people to one day get an opportunity to see those photos? Yes, actually um, having to go to New York um, when we were trying to figure this whole thing out, I've never been there before and so I had the opportunity to go. 
And the museum really tells a story of all the events that took place from all of the personal items. Um, and it was really kind of difficult to get through it for me at some point because it really showed the dramatic side of what happened. I mean, some of the photos, I, I really couldn't even get through the whole museum, but I would suggest people go because it's part of our history. It's part of what actually happened. Um, despite some of the uh, controversies involved, but you know, um, a lot of people lost their lives that day. Um, and so some of the conspiracies, you know, people lost their lives. And so I would suggest if you're ever in New York and you get a chance to go, go to the museum, absolutely. Daryl Anderson, thank you so much for joining us. And of course, our thoughts are with the many families on this day, 23 years later, and your family as well. Yes, Blessings you so to you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. He would have been really pleased with this, absolutely. Thank you. Sure.